from Houston, Texas, in color, a special one-hour version of Face the Nation, the first exclusive television interview with the Apollo 11 crew who returned on Thursday from the nationwide tour celebrating their historic first steps on the moon. Millions in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles turned out to greet the returning space pioneers. Now back again in Houston awaiting a world tour, the three astronauts, Mission Commander Neil Armstrong, his colleague in the moonwalk, Colonel Edwin E. Aldrin, Jr., and Command Module Pilot Lieutenant Colonel Michael Collins will be questioned by CBS News correspondent David Schumacher, Howard Benedict of the Associated Press, and CBS News correspondent Walter Cronkite. We shall resume the interview with the astronauts in a moment. Well, Neil, uh, given, say, uh, 10 more years of uh, actual flight as an astronaut commander, what do you think then, if you had a flight toward the end of that period, uh, you might be doing? What would, what would you say 10 years? That's, that's 1979. Well, we've always been poor prophets, uh, Walter. We've, we underestimate. I think we overestimate in a year. We say we're going to do something next year, and we haven't accomplished that much. But if you look ahead 10 years, then you find out that our ability to correctly prophesy is always undershooting. Uh, we do much more in 10 years than, than we'd expect. And if we uh, judge that will probably be true, then I think that in 10 years we'll, we'll be looking at the planets. Colonel Aldrin, uh, next month a task force is going to make recommendations to President Nixon about what our goal should be in space in the next decade. If you were writing those recommendations, what would you suggest? <coughs> what would you like to see done? Howard, I, I think we've uh, laid the foundation for a, a very logical uh, approach toward these goals. We have uh, many opportunities in continued uh, lunar exploration. I think we're uh, just scratching the surface, so to speak, uh, as to what we can obtain from uh, many of the Earth orbital space station studies and uh, applications toward uh, Earth resources. And certainly, I think, uh, economical means of uh, ferrying vehicles through the use of a space shuttle of some sort. Uh, these are the, the type things that uh, we will probably uh, be very interested in exploring. And of course, the uh, uh, eventual exploration beyond the moon uh, towards some of the planets, I think, is, uh, is something that uh, must be looked into. Gentlemen, a sort of shorthand, uh target uh, a description of what we should do next uh, seems to be revolving around uh, Mars, the debate over whether or not this is the time to set a Mars goal. Uh, the man you work for, Thomas Paine, the administrator of NASA, says that uh, it looks like 1981 might not be a bad time. On the other hand, another man and men you work for, the uh, House, uh, Agri uh, House uh, Aeronautical and Space Committee, says that we're not even ready to set such a goal for 10 years or so. Which, who is right? Are we ready to set a Mars goal or not? Oh, well, probably both of those uh, gentlemen have, have had uh, the opportunity to look at more recent analyses than we have, uh, having been tied up 105% uh, of our time on Apollo 11. But um, I'm quite certain that uh, goals uh, of the Mars variety are within our range should we should we choose to uh, decide to to make that uh, investment of our, our national resources. Uh, I think it's certainly possible uh, since uh, a planetary trip does always involve a, a long duration flight that uh, initial flights to the planets that is particularly circumplanetary non-landing but exploratory flights can be combined with Earth orbiting spacecraft to develop that long-term capability with the very same type of spacecraft. And so that would certainly be a contender in my view. Well, one of the important factors, perhaps, according to Werner von Braun, the most important factor in going to the moon was that a specific date was set, a specific goal was set. Would you today set a specific goal for Mars, and what year would you put on it if you wanted to do that? I would, and I don't think 1981 is too soon. I think it's well within our capability to do so, and 
as Neil pointed out, uh, the very nature, the long duration of the trip requires a, a careful design and testing of the equipment, which could uh, easily be done in Earth orbit with, with uh, a number of, of ancillary benefits in terms of Earth resources, uh, observations, and, and other things which the, uh, the, the non-Mars people would propose as well. Would you agree with 1981? Okay. I certainly think it's uh, well within our capability to be prepared for that date. Might as well complete the survey. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure that I would agree that, uh, that this is the time that we can accurately uh, set a date like 1981. I think uh, the setting of a goal is certainly one that we should uh, do. And then as we learn more about this, then I believe that uh, perhaps we can come up with a firm timetable for exactly when we could accomplish this. You're suggesting, Buzz, then we ought to have an intermediate goal of some kind, the, the manned space station has an intermediate uh, goal on a timeline? I, I would think so. I think we would like to spell out what our complete intentions are and, uh, and to set these goals in an intermediate way. And then as we, as we reach these intermediate goals, then I believe we'll be able to, to better define exactly uh, what our longer term goals are in terms of 10 years from now. I think it's very difficult to make uh, estimates at this time uh, for something as, as difficult and as complex and as uh, time-consuming as a uh, Mars trip. You, you open up uh, in, uh, in that uh, answer uh, another question. In going to the moon, when the, when the goal was set in 61 to go to the moon, we really didn't know how we are going there yet. I mean, the, 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 the technique of going there hadn't been decided at the time that the goal was set. Uh, do you see clearly the technique for going to the moon, uh, going to Mars, or are we going to have a uh, have to debate the means of getting there? Is it just is it just a matter of funding, and we know how to do it, or do we have to start it from scratch and going to Mars now? Well, we we, uh, we know how to go to Mars. Clearly, uh, our uh, recent unmanned. Uh, observations of Mars have shown that we know how to go there and I think uh, we can equally well uh, return. Uh, there are some variations in the method that might be used with specific details as to the booster used and and so on but I, I should suspect that that would be pretty well known. 